Good morning. Today we are going to talk about old growth forests and how they're different from younger second growth forests. And we've talked about succession in the past and forests go through these changes over time, eventually becoming old growth. But even a young forest will, if not disturbed, become an old growth forest. Now the first picture here is an old growth forest and you can see if you look at the ground it has rough and uneven ground or terrain. You can see that picture there's big fallen trees, big fallen logs. This is all supposed to be there. There is lots of life because there's also lots of decay which is recycling, right? So a lot of these materials are being recycled as they decay on the ground, some of these big trees, but even smaller plants and smaller trees. And with all that uneven ground, torn up soil, there's also lots of habitat for um, creatures to live in and amongst uh, the forest. Now if we look down here at the bottom, we have a second growth forest. This is a younger forest and you'll notice some things right away. We're still talking about the ground. The ground is even and basically flat. We don't see huge trees that have fallen over and ripped up parts of soil. We see that the trees are um, pretty evenly spaced. And there's no variety. It's just this one type of tree that has been best, uh, that grew the best uh, and fastest up to the light that was available. So you've got one type of tree here, um, but the ground is not going through a lot of um, recycling. There's not a lot of habitats and nooks and crannies for creatures to live within. Okay, let's take a look now at the variety that we find in the two. So that in the top here, I've got several images of different trees that you might find in a old growth forest, especially here in the Pacific Northwest. Western red cedar, Douglas fir. And all these trees would be present, but they're gonna also have um, different age ranges. Some are gonna be full, old, hundred year, hundreds of year old trees. And some are going to be younger, but you'll see this big variety of trees in old growth forests. Sitka spruce, and then finally, uh, Western hemlock. That's in an old growth, late stage forest. In a young forest, a second growth forest, like I said before, you don't have that many, that much of a variety. The only trees you get initially are the fastest growing trees. And so some of these longer lasting, um, very large trees like the Western red cedar, Doug fir, Sitka spruce, Western hemlock, you're not gonna find them in this young forest, not yet, because it's just these first initial species that um, spring up. Now this is bad because there's no resiliency in this forest, in this young forest. That means if something comes along that wipes out this type of tree, this tree makes up 90% of the forest. So that whole forest is gonna be wiped out. In a old growth forest, there's lots of diversity. So if something comes along, let's say there's an insect that attacks dug fir trees. Well, all these other trees are still there and still form the structure of the forest. So only the dug fir trees are the ones that are harmed uh, by this particular disturbance. Much more resilient um, old growth forests are. And then finally, let's take a look at what the space looks like. 
so not just the ground, we talked about that, but in this picture up here of an old growth forest, as we saw before, there's lots of fallen trees, fallen mature trees. So these are old trees that have lived out their life. And this is important to the health of a forest, not only because of the recycling involved and the ground, but also look at all the light that's coming in this one area. So you had a big tree fall and you have a huge open area for light to come down. Um, this open space is gonna be very important. So open space for light. Because this light is gonna provide an opportunity for the young trees to start growing. And it's not until there's a break in the canopy to allow this light in that you'll start getting some of these younger trees, these saplings starting to grow. Where in this bottom forest, this younger second growth forest, you don't really see any tree falls. You see some dead branches and, and um, some dead trees on the ground, but not tree falls where this huge tree has fallen and carved out a big chunk of the forest. Um, it's very dense. Uh, very dense, even canopy. And you can see there's no significant amount of light that's hitting the, the floor of this forest. So there's really no opportunities for young sapling trees to start growing in here. Uh, they'd have to wait for some other type of disturbance that knocks down some of these trees, maybe a storm or something like that. So these are just a few of the differences between old growth and um, second growth forests. There's lots more detail to it, but this gives you a general idea. All right, thank you very much.